So, out of all the years I've been coming up to this house side, I have not found a utensil that was whole. The whole thing, handle and spoon bowl, or handle and fork. But I have a handle sticking out right there, and it's an old one. But let's see if it's whole. My bet is it's not, but we're going to find out. This just, like I said, this just got bulldozed a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's rained really, really hard since then. So I haven't even dug. I just swung my coil over that, and I had to lay my... Because <laughs> there's all these leaves everywhere, because it's fall. I had to lay my shovel pointing, handle pointing right at it so I could find it again. Um, let's find out. Uh, oh, it is. It's all there. <laughs> it's all mangled, but it's there. Look at that. There's the bowl. It's just a little way. But is it an oldie? I have one just like this that I pulled out of here. And there goes that battery again. That's a brand new battery. It is whole. It is all there. It's very crouched. But it's all there. I'll take that home and try to straighten it out a little bit if it doesn't break on me. I really don't want to break it being this the only one from this site that was whole. Usually they don't have a hallmark on them. Um, you don't really get much off of these at all. They're just plain Jane. But I'll take it. I'll take it home and clean it up. I don't want to do too much of it up here. Like I said, I really don't want to break this one being it's complete. Like I said, I found the handle and the spoon bowl. And I actually found them years apart and placed them together. I found a brooch, the brass piece that goes like around a brooch. And then I found the glass insert years later after a real hard rain, after a hurricane. Obviously, we don't get hurricanes here in Kentucky, but the hurricane rains came this far and just beat the ground up here. And I was like, oh, hey, look, I found it. I'll show you that. It's Actually, I believe it's in my intro, too. Um, there's a lot of things from this house side that's in my intro. Like I said, this, this is the one that started the addiction for me. Um, this is the spot. Like I said, when I come over that hill, I almost cry because I, I remember all those things. And you get that, that happy feeling, that, that adrenaline rush that you get when you pull them out of the ground. You remember all those when you come back every time. And I don't get to come here that often. I get to come here about twice a year. So, and like I said, the landowner's going to sell it. So I want to get as much as I can out of here. So I will clean that up tonight when I get back home. And... See if it has anything on it at all. And right now I'm going to go change my battery again. Check that out. It's a glass four hole button. Of course it's only two holes now and only half the button. But uh, if I find the other, this is these eyeball and everything. So hopefully I get lucky enough to find the other half laying out here. I have a whole collection of buttons from this site, which I'll have to wait till I get back to Michigan to show you those because that's where they're at. But uh, it's just fascinating to find literally everything that someone owned year after year after year coming up out of the ground. Um, hopefully I'll find the other half of this one. It's really pretty. <clears throat> Alright, this is pretty much... Right there, between my shovel and my detector. Right there. This is pretty much where I find a lot of things that you would not really find off the front porch. This is where the front porch sat. So I found, like, my harmonica reed here. And there is a half of a lead hem weight. I know you can't tell if that's a washer or not, but believe me, it is lead. It's heavier than sin. Um, but I find a lot of stuff right in, right in this area. So I would assume... They probably sat on their porch and worked on stuff a lot because it was at least outside. Um, I find I found dimes, pennies, nickels, spoons. I found an old tin cup with a silver spoon in it out here under where the porch was. And now a hem weight. So maybe someone was sitting on the front porch sewing. Alright, I don't know if you can see that hectagon shape down there. But it rang up a 66, so brass. It's either a dog tag or a token, and I'm praying it's another token. I like dog tags, but I really like tokens. Let 
Let me zoom you back out. I'm thinking it's a dog tag. There's a hole right there. But it looks completely plain. It doesn't look like it has anything on it. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? Maybe this could be a miner's tag. Let's see, it's got a number one. And that's all I see is a number one. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You can see it a little bit. It's getting kind of dark out here. Let me, let me look at this closer. We are in cold country here. There's very high possibility that this could be a miner's tag. If you remember back in the spring, not at this house site, but at a different house site, I dug an iron worker's tag. And I'm pretty certain that's a coal miner's tag. We'll do some research when we get back home.